All right, Bill, so what's the last golden nugget you want to share about slow speed maneuvering? Well, it's a technique that we call teardropping. It's, we don't use this in the basic rider course, but it's something that motor officers use extensively in their day-to-day -day riding and in their motor officer skills competitions. It's an effective way to initiate low speed U-turns. All right, so once we nail this, it's out to the streets? I promise, Jordan, we're almost there. All right. So I want to define teardropping. For low speed maneuvering, it's essentially two consecutive turns. We initiate a turn of the handlebars away from the direction we want to go, and then we turn the handlebars into the turn in the direction that we want to go. So if we want to go left, first we turn right? Exactly. By turning in the opposite direction and then back into the turn, we destabilize the motorcycle. It gets the bike onto the edge of the tires so that the motorcycle can turn easier. Okay, what's the best way to practice that? The best way is in a private closed course area. You'll want to practice where there are no other vehicles around. You'll want to have lots of room and understand when we do turns, we're trying to get between 15 to 30 feet in our turns. Okay. The reason for that is the roads are often nine to 15 feet wide. If we can make a turn within 30 feet, then we can make a turn on the street. Preferably though, we want to give ourselves room. So we'll want to get that turn down to about 24 feet, 20 if we can. Okay. All right, Bill, that makes perfect sense. So if we can do a 24 foot U-turn in a parking lot, we can do it on the street. That's exactly right. And you'll want to practice in a closed course because we're putting all the skills we've learned together. That includes our clutch, throttle, rear brake relationship, our counterweighting, and our tear dropping. We'll want to have that skill put all together nice and tight before we start mixing it up in traffic. All right, so are we ready to try this on the street? Yep, we're ready to go. Let's do it. Notice how the rider is setting up on the outside, not all the way, giving him enough room so that he can teardrop for the turn. Notice how early he's established the clutch, throttle, rear brake relationship. Watch as he counterweights before he initiates the turn, turns his head, turns the handlebars, and away he goes to make that tight U-turn on the roadway. So I bet this comes in handy in parking lots too. Absolutely, you can be in a parking garage or you can be in a Target parking lot and it works all the same. So we've come a long way since our first video on Friction Zone and there is a lot to get right. You're right, Jordan, there is a lot to get right. But Team Arizona is here to help you become the best possible rider. You know, the coaches have been showing you in the videos the various techniques and skills and they make it look easy, but it didn't start that way for them. They started at the bottom and they worked their way up practicing the techniques on a regular basis to get better. And we're here to help all riders enhance their skills. And you can start by visiting MotorcycleTraining.com. Awesome Bill, thanks so much for your insight and I can't wait to get started.